For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a health bar in Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So how exactly do we make this? Well first of all you need to come to Media Generators, if you don't have this come to View, Windows Layout and then click Default Layout. Now from here, go to a solid colour, so it could be whatever colour you want, this is not going to be the colour of the health bar. So I'm just going to pick white, so this is going to be the base layer, we can call it the base layer right here. And then on top, we're going to have the health bar, I'm going to make it red, so just drag it on top like this. Now this is what you should get to, it should look exactly like this. So make sure at the start of your clip, come to the event pan and crop, and now you need to mask, so come to mask, make sure it's enabled. Press this right here, rectangle or square mask creation tool, and simply wherever you want to just mask out a rectangle which looks like a health bar. So, probably like that for me. And that is it. Now, what you want to do, come here to it says presets, and now just call this health bar. That way you won't have to make this over and over again. So it's called health bar. Now just go ahead and click save. So now you've got that there. What that means, every time you come here, it's going to be there on your event pad and crop, so you don't have to remember these exact settings. Now the next thing you can see is positioned in a bad place. Let's say we want to put it in the top left corner. So come to the track motion and make sure you at the start of your video again. And simply drag it to the correct position wherever you want. It doesn't have to be here, but this is where I'm going to put it. So I'm just going to put it there. Now the next step, we can add another video track. And let's for example come and add some text. So I'm going to add this one right here, and let's call this, let's just call this human, because I don't know what else to call it, and we'll put this about 20, 25, that looks good, we'll add an effect, an outline, a black outline like so, and we'll go ahead and position this above the health bar, so again track motion, drag up there like so, and there we go, that's in good position, and now the final thing we need to do, how do we actually make the health bar go down? So, it's very, very simple to do. Let's get into it. This white background you have right here can be deleted, like that. So now that's all you've got. And to be honest, that health bar looks a bit fat, so I'm going to go ahead and shorten it down. Come back to the event pan and crop. Make sure you're on mask. Come to the start where you started it off, which is this one right here. And come and just make it smaller, like that. Now I'm going to X out of this. So, as you'll see, I have a video from GTA 5 here. Now this is not my footage. But if we go ahead and play this, you can see there is no health bar on the screen. We're going to make the health bar animated to this specific one. So as you can see, we've dragged it underneath the health bar along with the text. So if we come here, that's how it's going to look. So we'll change this to, uh, we'll just change to GTA 5. And we'll put the text smaller just to make it a little bit more neater because it looks pretty big. There we go. And now we will animate it. So you can see it ends right there. Go ahead and do this. Now what we're actually messing with is the red one right here. Or whatever colour you picked. So we're coming to the event pan and crop again. But first of all we need to lay out where the effects should happen. So let's find out where this guy gets injured. So it's right on the landing. Right there. I'm going to press M on my keyboard to mark it. And then... That's basically it, so it's only one hit for this one. So what you need to do is pay attention very closely right now. So come to the event pan and crop, make sure you're on mask. Now from here, zoom in, go back one keyframe, press this right here, create new, well create keyframe, and now press one to the right. This next thing you need to zoom in up here, using the mouse wheel. And you need to select all of this, so right click it, click select, and select all. Try and find it, so you want to find that right there. And now we're going to make it animated so the health goes down. So let's go across, where does he stop? He stops about there, so we're going to make the health go all the way down to there. So this part here, 
it depends how much you want the health to go down. So you see, you just drag it left, the health will go down. So I'm going to leave it about there. Let's go ahead and watch what we've done. So you can see, health is still good. And then hits right here. And you can see, there's a the health gone down and it stopped right there. Now if you want the health to go down faster, then come back here, click on the keyframe which makes the health go down, just drag it closer to the other one like this, and now you'll see, it's much more quicker. Now probably a little bit more quicker just to make it a bit more realistic, so like that. Let's go ahead and watch this. There you go, that's probably a bit too quick, but you can see the idea, you just have to mess with it until you get the best one. And that is how you do it, it's very very simple. So that's it for this video, like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Action, Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below, ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, where I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which is sure I do throughout my day. So yes, been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.